there, this is Tanya at Hummingbird Paintery. It's about three o'clock on Sunday and I'm gonna show you how to make an owl or actually paint it and put it together. Um, I have made this out of wood. I just took a piece of board that I had out in the garage and I cut out an owl and then I'm gonna put some wood on top of that. Hopefully some people will pop on. It takes a minute for Facebook to posted on there that I'm actually live so I know that it may be a second. Hope everybody's had a good Sunday. If you're new here please tell me that you're new. Um, if you come on later and you uh, watch this please tell me hashtag replay so I can thank you for coming on and anybody else that comes on I'll be thanking them anyway. So there are a couple people on here, at least it says that it is. Um, I don't see any comments yet, <laughs> so not sure. All right, anyway, we'll go ahead and we'll get started. Uh, what you're gonna need is an owl. You can buy one, probably a wooden section, maybe in the section of wood at Hobby Lobby. Um, I just made mine. I try not to purchase anything wood. Um, I did take a sanding block and kind of get the edges, rough edges off of here. And I've got some of these little driftwood pieces of wood that you can also find at Hobby Lobby in the wood section. And I've got those set aside here. Hey, Cheryl Myron, I thought you were going to be with your grandson. <laughs> so I didn't expect you to come on. Um, I did make one earlier. Um, I did this a little ways back, but I painted it kind of a creamy color, and I don't know what we want to do. If we want to make a traditional owl, you made it. I'm glad you made it, Cheryl, because it looks like you're the only one here right now. Um, so I'll just ask you, um, do you want a traditional owl, or do you want one that looks more Christmassy? like a red. Hey, Polly Camp, you're, you're here, thank goodness. <laughs> um, we can paint the background a brown color. Um, I don't know if y'all want to just like put some kind of decoration on there to make it look more Christmassy, or do you want me to paint it red or green? Kind of a um, hunter green or so? Traditional, Cheryl says. Okay, so we'll just kind of make it brown. And um, I should have probably stained this whole thing. Uh, we can stain this real fast. Or we can do uh, regular brown. Which I think that's what I'll do. And I'll just, uh, just paint it and just water the, the paint down. I got this blob on the end of my paint. At the end, I'll show y'all what I've been doing today. I had some orders and some Christmas gifts that I had to do, and I will show y'all. But let me get my paintbrush here, and we're gonna make it real watery because it just is easier to paint with watered down paint. So I'm just gonna paint this, and we'll paint the sides. I'll do the back later. That way, y'all don't have to sit here and watch me do the entire thing. Uh, we'll just do the sides and the front. See, it's so much easier just to put the paint on there with a little bit of wet wetness. And this will be the background. We'll just see what we want to do for the feathers. The one you just showed is so cute. Thank you. I just did it real fast. Um, I was trying to get done. I've been, I went to lunch with a couple of friends of mine. And um, it was good, too. I went to the butcher shop. I don't think y'all have a butcher shop where you are. I think that's indicative of Memphis. Um, Cause they, these people have been there for a while. There's like two of them, I think in Memphis. Hola, hola. Manny's in the house. Thank you for coming on. I sent Jason something today, Manny, and I sent your mother-in-law. Also something in the mail. They won. 
they both got the sun up quicker than anybody else so I sent them something today so or yesterday actually so we're just gonna finish painting this I'm almost finished with this part <laughs> thanks for the the stars and the funny face and stuff Manny before long you'll have enough followers that you'll be able to get stars Manny I don't know how many you have on your page but I don't even know how many it takes okay so this is the brown and I just did the fronts and the side and I'll paint the back later or you know you can put this up against something on your mantle or whatever so it's okay um, I'm gonna go ahead and we'll paint the eye part first and I'm gonna paint it white And these have little holes in them. When I got them off of Amazon, uh, they already had the holes. So I just take the little ball and I just put it over that part. You can put them in the center. These are just those little wooden pieces that look like a piece of tree. No stars. It's okay. I know. I don't care about stars. I just care about my followers. And um, it doesn't matter to me about stars either. The ones we press on here are the best. I don't care. So, um, anyway, let's see here. We're just going to do all this because you need a white for the background of the eyes. And there we go. That's one of them. And then here is the other one. And I'm just going to paint the front. You know, the back is going to be glued onto the owl, so it's okay. It's pitiful trying to get old and be able to see everything, so I have to look under my glasses or either take them off. The followers put us out there. They make up our pages. It's them, not us. That's true. I do appreciate all my followers. Hey, Shelly Slade, if you're on here, Manny's trying to get you on. Manny, I try to stay up and watch you, but I fall asleep every time. I'm so tired. Whenever, but I do watch your replay. All right. So here's the other one, and we've got both of those, and they can dry in the meantime. So we're going to, hopefully you can see this. Let me tilt it down just, I cut y'all off. I'm going to put it down a little bit so you can see a little bit better what I'm doing and how I'm going to construct these. We're going to put it all together first. I went ahead and, hey Charlene, thank you for coming on. Um, I have went ahead and painted this yellow just so I wouldn't have to put some yellow out here, but that's going to be for the beak. And these are going to be black for the eyes. Um, I'll go ahead and do those so they can be drying while I construct this. So let me just go ahead and we'll paint it first. And you may want to put this on a on a board like this or on a paper plate um, because they're just they're half circles I did get these at Amazon I got them in a package of several different sizes this way it can be drying and you can just kind of hold it with your fingernail let me find my other one and we'll highlight with some white once it's finished and we construct it on here. Let's see here. All right. So those will be drying. And they're on there just like that. Let me do this side a little bit more. It looks like I missed a little bit. All right, so those are going to dry, and then we're going to take these. I did cut one of these in half to put on the top for the ears, and they kind of sit here really cute. 
um, this is what I did. And that way it can be some little ears that stick up. I think I want them this way. There we go. And then they'll be at the top. I don't know. I like it better this way. All right. So we're going to go ahead and put those on. I'm just going to take some regular hot glue. You can use wood glue if you want to. Let me see. All right. So that's what it looks like so far. Hey, Shelly, thank you for coming on, and Nelda, appreciate that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put these on. These are going to be the eyes. And you, if you get the ones with the circles, because I guess people make these for ornaments, but these are kind of small for me for ornaments if you're wanting to paint on them. You're going to want to put the circle... It's open there. You're going to want to put it where you're going to put the eyes. Okay. And then we're going to just take our pieces. And I've got two longer ones and two shorter ones because I figured from the first time that um, it's a lot easier to put on here for the sides, for the wings. And you just put it however you think is going to be the best. See how it just sits there on the side? And we're going to put some glue. And hold it for just a second. This isn't wanting to stay. I think it's because the paint is wet. Um, your glue is not going to stay as well. Then you're going to take two of these. And it looks like you're going to go the opposite of what it's on here. To do for the sides. However it looks for you to be able to fit in there pretty well. Let me see here. They fit in there a certain way. Let's see here. Where's that little one? There's a thinner piece. This is it. All right, so this is what it looks like so far. Just like this, and then we're going to put the middle. Okay, so I cut this one also um, in half. Actually, I took two different ones because I wanted it to go a specific way. And we're going to have those in the front on the sides. They just fit in there just right. All right. And then I put, I cut this one as well. And we're just piecing these pieces in here. Just like that. 
And then all of these pieces are going to go in the middle. So we're going to take, they're all basically the same. And you want them to overlap just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put the, the nose on. There's no right or wrong here. Let's see. I love this owl. Are you, I'm not sure what you're trying to say. Let's see if I can hit it. Oh, it doesn't show it. Charlene, so I'm not sure what your question is. And I put this one in the middle. I used to collect owls in the 70s. You did. I think a lot of people had owls uh, in the 70s. That was a really big popular thing. Kind of like ducks were in the 80s. Let's see what you said. Doesn't show anything. I'm telling you. All right. So now we're going to paint it. So this is what it looks like so far without the paint. All right, and I just put a little extra glue in there to hold the sides. All right. Facebook is not showing my something. I love him. I love him too. He's cute. He'll look better once I put the black eyes on and everything. This one's... I hit the pain, I guess. All right. He's so cute. Okay. Should I just make him a traditional brown? I think that's what y'all wanted. So we're just going to do it that way. And I'm just going to paint it. You can paint your pieces and then add them on. Or you can do it while they're on here. It's okay. So we're just going to paint him. Just kind of be more careful if it's on here. And then we'll kind of dry brush it with a little bit of white. To make it show up better. Today I've been painting a lot. I'm going to show y'all what I've been doing. I brought them in here so you could see. Be very careful since I've got this yellow already on here and I'm trying to be careful not to 
to touch it with the brown. Painting the page. Thank you so much, Cheryl. I appreciate you painting the page. This just gives him a little dimension by having these little wood pieces. You can get them at Hobby Lobby in the wood pile section. I think they're a few dollars for those. Let me dry brush it. It'll look a lot better. I Tanya painted from Michigan. Thank you, Robin. You're going to want to paint the whole owl, and it probably is a lot easier to put this together after you paint everything, but it's kind of fun and therapeutic to just paint it like this, because <laughs> you don't have to be perfect when you're painting, because it's just one solid color. I think I made the other owl a little bit bigger. This one I made a little bit smaller, but that's okay. You can just get whichever one you have, or even a plastic one if you could find one and put this on there. All right, so we're gonna do these. I think I'm gonna do a darker color for that up at the top for his ears. Got some little strings from the hot glue. Let's see. I'm almost finished. Ah. All right. So let me do this other side. Y'all been getting ready for the week today? I should be doing that, but I have not. <laughs> Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate that. All right. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to do brown, like a darker brown for the top. And this is just the body. Hey, Jason. I sent you a box. I hope your mom told you. Because you were the second one I saw and I had some extra. Okay, so I hit the eye, so now I gotta go back and do the white again. Let's see. All right, there we go. We're gonna try to dry brush this a little bit to kind of give it some definition, make it look more like feathers. Just like this. Alright, so that's what he looks like there. So it doesn't look just brown. Hey Janet, thank you for coming on. I hope you like it. I tried to pick stuff more masculine for the man, of course. What are you making? I'm making an owl. This is what the one I did earlier looks like. I did a creamy color on it. And we're doing this one brown. We're doing kind of the opposite. Let me see. I had a brown. Let's see. Here it is. And you might have to... Get a needle or a piece of wire. I know I had that. What did I do with it? Well, we'll just undo it then. I just try to 
not pour it out because when I do that, it seems like I pour more than I really need. And you waste more. Oh my, she said. All right, so we're going to make this one a little bit darker. And this is a burnt umber, and the other color was um, nutmeg brown. I use that a lot. I just tend to like those two colors a whole lot for my browns. And I'm going to have to get a smaller brush. Let me to do this. I don't want to get it all over the background here. You know, that was my first time using Pirate Ship yesterday when I was doing all these. It was so nice to go to the post office without them being open. And I just stuck that in there in their little door so that are you having a good day today yes miss robin i'm having an excellent day today i'm getting a whole lot done it seems like all right so i think what i'm going to do is outline which these already have an outline but i'm gonna make it a little bit more prominent um, around the eyes here we're just gonna kind of Make it a little bit more prominent. Let's see. Just like that. And it kind of looks, with the holes in there, it looks kind of like I've already got dots on there for, for the eyes. But we're going to do them black. Just like I did the other ones, and these are the half ones. Do you have your tree up? Yes, I have um, a lot of trees. I sure do. Um, and they're pretty much decorated. I keep one up that has an angel on it. And I keep um, one tree in the living room that I decorate just every holiday. I'll change it out, but most of them I keep up all year. Thanks to Barb, I just want a ton of trees. My whole house is a mess because I have so many trees around. I have like three in the kitchen alone, but they're small. Some of them are small. All right, so let me put a little... All right, so this is what it looks like so far. We're gonna put a little bit of white on the black. And I just took a little bitty brush and we're just gonna put it in the white, but I've gotta get some more white out. Let's see. You love your ceramic trees? I've never gotten one of those ceramic trees. I know they're more popular again. Weren't they popular in the 80s? Miss Janet. All right, we're going to make a dot in this one. We'll put a dot right here and a dot right here. And just like this. So there he is with a little bit of white on his eyes. It just makes him look a little better. Yes, I got the one from my mom. And then there's a lady here in Texas that sells them. They look just like the old ones. I've seen some of those. It's really cute. So now we have a white one and we have a brown one. And I was going to make it have a little bow or something like that. I do have these pine cones here. I think I got them on sale um, at Michael's, I want to say. Or I may have gotten them at Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure if I can undo this. Let's see. These are all tangled up. 
I don't even know where the end is. It's all wired together. I guess this is supposed to be a long piece, but I kind of just want to get a piece off of it, so I think I'm just going to cut one. Because I wasn't going to use it as a garland. I just was going to use it. We're going to get one or two of these off of here. Let's see. Where's my little ones? Here they are. These things are invaluable. If anybody ever gets these, they're in the section where you um, uh, do floral stuff. It's over there. It's also in the hardware section. Let me see. I'm just going to cut this off. Get two small ones because we don't want to overpower this. We're just going to... There we go. So now I've got like... Whoop, two of them and they're goldy color already and you can just get them from the hard oh look at that i put that right in the white <laughs> okay so we're just gonna take it lord and don't let it fall in your paint like i did We're going to take this one and put right here. And then I had some little flowers. We might put one little flower. This is just a little, little flower. These were like 39 cents at Michael's back in the day. I think I got this at a garage sale. I don't have any pine trees close to me, Janet. Let's see. We'll take one of these and a couple of these. Let's just see. We're just going to stick this up underneath there. I may have to cut some of it off so it doesn't look funny. Let's see. We're going to take a little bit of the glue. And stick it under here. And then we'll at least take one flower. Mr. Owl wants a white pine cone. Obviously, he sure did. Okay, I'm to find my glue sticks without having to get up. Chocolate chip and peanut butter cookies. Ooh, that sounds good. I've been eating way too much chocolate and stuff lately. I, I've gained like five pounds. I gotta watch what I'm doing. I'm gonna get some glue sticks. should leave some here on the table but I didn't do it all right so let's see all right put a little here all right so this makes him a little bit more Christmassy by putting a little bit up here. <clears throat> so this is what he looks like. Isn't he cute? And this is the, the creamy color one. And I'm not going to put any color on him. I'll just leave him plain. Just like that. So I just keep stuff. This was, like I said, from, from a, an estate sale and I get stuff on sale and I was thinking about putting this greenery on it, but I thought that was too much. So then I decided not to do that. Thank you so much for saying it's cute, everybody. I appreciate that. So I'll show you what I've done today. I paint, finished this rock. Right here, 
thank you for saying it looks perfect. I don't know about perfect, but thank you so much. Um, this is a an order that I had for an angel on top of a rock. But that didn't take me long. That was easy. So, I've had some orders for pet portraits. You do such a wonderful work. Thank you so much. Okay. So, this right here, I'm going to give this. This lady wanted me to do this, but um, I'm going to give it to her for her Christmas gift. And I thought he was adorable. <laughs> He's so cute. Easy for you. I can draw stick people. I, yeah, these, these were okay. Um, here's another one. This was an order. And this one is an order for a kitty cat. So I finished all of these today. And I finished the, um little fairies that I had an order for as well but they're out in the garage right now drying I've got a clear coat on those because they're gonna be outside let me put you up a little bit so I don't have to move my head too much goodness all right oh <laughs> wow Sometimes I have to be in, in, I drew eyes. I loved your elf, Manny. I loved your elf. I was on there um, afterwards looking at that. You did great on the elf and I loved his eyes. So you did a wonderful job. I wanted to tell you that. I forgot till you said that about your elf. He was so cute. Makes me want to make one out of wood. He was adorable. Sometimes um, when I'm trying to do a pet portrait, you know, it's hard to get their personality in there. I try my best, but it's not always easy and I have to be in a mood to paint. And I don't know, it's just difficult sometimes. I always have to be in the mood. Thank you so much for saying that. I appreciate it, Janet. I don't know. I, I didn't even know I could paint a dog, uh, let alone any of these other things that I've been doing. But um, I just like to do it. So that's a good thing. Well, what are y'all going to do this afternoon? Anything good? Thank you, Robin. I appreciate it. I try to paint. You do. You do great, Manny. I love all your crafts. I watch them. Even if I have to go back and re-watch. What have you been doing today? <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. I appreciate that. Have y'all been watching Hallmark movies? My favorite Hallmark movie was just on, and I, did, I missed the last tail end of it, but it, it's one of my favorite ones, where the girl is like a governess or something for the little girl over in some place that I've never even heard of. Of course, they make that crap up, but but it's um, it was my favorite with that little girl from the Wonder Years. She's one of my favorite ones on there. Try and get ready for work tomorrow. That's me too. I got to do that. I have my leftovers from lunch today, so I don't have to worry about it. Yes, I watch those movies all the time. A Royal Christmas. Yeah, with Danica McKellar. That's exactly right. Yes. I love that. That's my favorite one. I keep watching it over and over again. Oh, yes, Winnie. <laughs> I love her in those Hallmark movies. And I don't know who the guy was, but there's something about him that was very attractive. That's for sure. Not just because he was a prince or king or whatever. <laughs> yeah. 
So you must have been watching it too. Your favorite one is the 12 Gifts of Christmas. I'll have to go back and look at that. I, I've heard of that one. I just don't know which one that is. Boy, you know the names of them. I don't know all the names. <laughs> I don't know. Who's in that one, Manny? The 12 Gifts of Christmas. Watching the Polar Express. I've never watched that. Doesn't Tom Hanks, isn't he the voice in that? I haven't seen it, though. I don't usually go to the movie theater to watch anything, and I know that was. Or Christmas Melody with Mariah Carey. Yeah. Lacey Chabert. Yeah, she's, she's, she's your girl. I like her, too. She's really... She does a lot of the movies. Um, I know they have the same few women that play in it, but um, she's in a lot of them. <laughs> Janet says she loves the Polar Express. Yes, he is. It's a good movie. Yep. I guess so. I need to watch it, but I haven't seen it. I have seen that one, The Christmas Melody with Mariah Carey, though, Manny. I do remember that, but I don't know any of the names of these things. I don't know how you remember all that, because <laughs> I sure don't. I don't even pay attention to it. The last 15 minutes, they got in a fight, and then the last three minutes, they make up and live happily ever after. That's the way all of them are. <laughs> they all get in a fight, <laughs> and then they get back together. They need to do it somehow differently, even though that's just, I don't know. I think everybody just really likes a good love story at Christmas time. Maybe that's what it is. Do you know I've never seen It's a Wonderful Life all the way through? I should be ashamed of myself. That's kind of a classic, but I have not seen that all the way through. I'm waiting on some comments to come up and everything's just stopped. Facebook, seen, ever since it changed over a little bit, it is not, the comments don't come up. Everybody's sending me hearts, though. I appreciate that. Great movie, Cheryl said. Yeah, I think it is. I like all those old movies. I picked up two placemats and see what I can make out of them. That'll be good. I can't wait to see that, Manny. No matter how many times I watch it, I cry. I cry on a lot of movies. <laughs> There's too many good movies out there. And I haven't been to the movie theater in a while, even though I did go about six months ago. But I haven't seen anything recently. I just don't have time. I got some of these, too. We could have put one of those on there, but... On my owl. So what are you thinking about with placemats? I don't go to the movie theater. I make a bag of popcorn sit in front of the TV. That's the thing to do, Miss Janet. Um, that's basically what I do. I mean, I watch mostly television, but you know at Christmas time, probably in the next week or two is the end. It's like the fall break. So I don't get to watch my shows then. And so I watch Christmas movies until Christmas. And then until January, I just watch whatever's on there. Or I watch HGTV. Because I like that. I can't tell you. Wait and see. I saw them. And I'm like, I know what I'm making. Oh, good. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's hard to pick something to do. We have so many things. I've got to pick some things to do. <laughs> you love that channel. Um, pick some things to do for the rest of the week. Um, so I'll be thinking about what I need to do. And uh, I know one of the days we can do those houses because I already cut those out. But um, I don't know. Other than that, I made two frames. So I may make something for the inside of the frame. 
on a live on the small one. I've got two different sizes. I finally found the the edge for my saw. That way I could cut it in half what I needed. So I found that, thank goodness. So I made two frames instead of one big one. So I'll have to figure something out. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. But I don't want to keep y'all. Um, I just wanted to get on, show you what I've been working on, and um, make the owl with you. So if everybody's coming on later, this is what our finished product is today, is our owl. And I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much, Miss Paula. And I appreciate everybody for coming on here and painting the page. And please let me know if you come on later and hashtag replay. And tell me if you're new. You have a good night. And thank you for telling me the owl is pretty. And I can't wait to see what you're doing next, Manny. I guess you'll be on tomorrow night. So um, I will try to catch you then. And y'all have a good afternoon, and I will talk to y'all on Wednesday at 6 o'clock. Bye.